let's get you set up for the best week. Make sure you have all the information. A little heads up, okay, so that you can work with the energies that are being presented, okay? So we're going to get into that right now. First and foremost, I'm going to just start tuning in right here, right now. Okay. If you're new here and this looks weird to you, it's part of the process. It's okay. <laughs> okay. I'm an angel medium. I got this. Okay. First and foremost, there's this mother ring energy coming in. Now, for everybody, this is going to be taken differently, of course. Right? I mean, listen. Um, so, for some of you, that might be something that you're trying to heal. This might be something where you feel like you've been failed. Whatever the case may be. For others, this is like a nice mothering energy coming to you. Or there's some exchange of this feminine energy nurturance, compassion. This is very Mother Mary energy, okay? If you want to work with Mother Mary, she doesn't care about your religion, okay? She'll work with anybody <laughs> if you want to work with her. I still feel like there's some opportunities coming through. Uh, and, and the way this kind of works, at least the way I do it, is I feel this sort of, I guess it's a broad energy. And then, so there's a frequency there. And then I start kind of tuning in to see if there are examples for the audience that is tuning in here. So it doesn't matter when you find this video, not really, although I am recording it for the week of May 20th, 2024, but these are actually timeless, okay? So you can watch it whenever. But I'll tune in to see what kind of examples might be pertinent to some of you out there listening, okay? So here's, here's what we got, you ready? Massive job breakthroughs for some of you. Okay, now I, got, now I just opened it up too far. Okay, that also happens. <laughs> I do that sometimes because I started, it's first there's this mothering energy, then there's this um, good career opportunity coming up for some of you. And I, and I say that because it feels like I'm settled now. Um, everything's going to be okay. All right, so we'll get into that here. But then the other thing that started popping in was more storms. Now, Houston, I know you guys, if I understood correctly, you guys have been getting hammered with storms. So I love you guys. I love you. If you need some support here, that's what we're here for. We're here for spiritual wellness, emotional support, to be a very strong community. So what else you got? Okay. So, I, okay. In general, there's just natural potential disasters. So natural disasters is a volcano. Um, you know, it's the same old stuff that's been always going on. It's not revolutionary. Earthquakes, things like that. I hope there isn't a huge earthquake. Um, now, if it is, I'm feeling like uh, Chile. Uh, somewhere around that region. And islands. There's a group of islands that... Gosh, I'm just geography. Forgive me. So I'm looking at where like Florida comes down. Going south of there, south of the equator, it, there's a, I guess, a grouping of islands out there or something. There's an earthquake there as well. So, and it could be in the U.S., but more in the U.S., it's the tornadoes, which, again, is typical this time of year. But the energy and the reason why that would be coming up now is because some people are not taking this seriously. So it's not so much of like, ooh, you predicted storms at a time when storms actually happen. It's not that. When, they're, when we're working with angels and angelic frequency, they, they are guiding us. They are protecting us. And that is coming through. So you take it seriously. Make sense? All right. Let's go back to the job thing. That was exciting. <laughs> so if some, okay, for, for some of you out there, if you own your own business or you're trying to get something off the ground, please remember this does not pertain to every single person. Now, I do offer personal readings, private readings, if that's what you want to do. I have two formats. One is what I call my standard reading that doesn't require any time commitment on your part. For that, you just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. You sign up, you submit a form, I take care of it for you, I get you your message. Now, the wait time on that is starting to expand a little bit. More people are starting to come in, so just be ready for that, okay? But if you get in quick, you might get it a little bit faster. Then the second format would be the live session via Zoom. You email me for that one so we can work out a time. 
this coming week is pretty booked. Um, I guess if you really need a reading, I can work longer, I guess, and, and get you squeezed in. But more I'm looking at the following week, okay, for live sessions. So email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Real quick, if you're like, why are we talking about this? Angelic frequency is different, y'all. Okay, it's different. It's higher frequency. It's about the guidance. It's about making the real change. It's not about just giving you a quick answer to something. It gives you the why behind it. This is that deep kind of divine epiphany that you have about your soul's contract. And by the way, that's my specialty, okay, is your soul's contract. And weirdly fertility stuff, too. I don't know why. And don't just lean on me. Talk to doctors. Spiritual readings are not a replacement for therapy, a doctor, financial professional. It's not legal advice. Ain't none of it, okay? It's just spiritual wellness stuff. But that is the value of angelic guidance. So if you want to come on in and work with me, I've been doing this professionally for over a decade, even longer than that. Before I was a professional at it, we can work together. Okay, so there's all that stuff out of the way. But there's something here about someone having a breakthrough with finances. Well, many somebody's out there having a breakthrough with finances, finding your way, finding your niche. Uh, some of you, some of you have had things where it was a bright idea of yours and you go down this road and maybe it was social media during uh, COVID where you're like, hey, we're home anyway, let's start a channel. You might, if that's you, you're revamping it or you're giving it up entirely. Now, I don't want any of you to feel like, oh gosh, I failed if you choose to give something up. And it would, in fact, be a choice. But it's you moving on. And that's what I love about this energy behind it. So here are all these little examples that could pertain to some people watching this. But the big energy, the bigger energy behind it is this beautiful metamorphosis okay it, it you're coming into your own it's not all going to happen this week okay but you're going to be getting little signs and symbols um that that is coming i have so much stuff in front of me okay let me <laughs> anyway sorry all right let's get some cards going here i love the mothering energy here it's a positive thing for most of you i'd say seven, they're giving me a number of 78 percent of the people watching this uh, it's a positive thing for you. For others of you, it's going to be a little triggering. And for some of you as well, even like a smaller group of you, it's going to feel like life is unfair because you didn't get what most people get, right? And that might be your perspective, some of you watching this, that, you know, most people get a kind, loving, understanding mother, and maybe you didn't. There are beings, okay, on this planet there's a little, <laughs> little bug went by. It's not an orb, okay? It was just a little, little, little bug went by. Um, there are people on this planet who are here to give that kind of energy, okay? Now, that doesn't mean someone's going to come in and mother you and do your laundry for you. You do that yourself. You're lazy, okay? But what I'm saying is if you didn't get love and support from a nurturing person, uh, there are nurturing souls here uh, they're, they're actually saying that nothing goes unnoticed by God, source, creator, the universe, whatever you're comfortable calling that bigger power. Um, nothing goes unnoticed. Now, we have talked about the Akashic Records before. This is Archangel Metatron uh, territory. So he's known as the sacred scribe. He's in charge of sacred geometry. He's in charge of the ascension process, your intuition, so many things, okay? the mathematical blueprint of the universe. Thank you. Got that in there as well. So the Akashic records would be every thought, deed, action recorded. Now, if you're going, whoa, <laughs> uh oh, uh, it's okay. I mean, <laughs> it's all a part of being human, but that's what they're getting at with nothing goes unnoticed. So if on your soul's contract, and this is something we could talk about one-on-one, -on -one, if you care to, to do one of these services, um, you know, we can tune in to see if, if somewhere on your soul's contract, there isn't something that you're trying to seek out your own uh, feminine aspect. And we all have divine masculine and feminine within us. And it's always in varied degrees, right? So uh, maybe there's some lesson there. For example, where you're trying to find that within yourself or you agreed to come in and be the nurturing force, even though as the story played out, it didn't seem so fair. 
that's just a rough, like kind of generic example. We would go much further in depth one-on-one, -on -one, okay? But regardless, there's something really nice here. Now, I, ooh, oh, we can't move on yet. We can't move on to the card yet because <laughs> if you're watching this and you are a loving, kind, compassionate, empathetic person, this might be a time where you're giving some of that, however you perceive it. I'm, I'm feeling more of a motherly, nurturing energy. Um, but if you see yourself as a protective father, um, you know, maybe being a, a good example for somebody and, and giving them some kindness and support. Okay. Now, as I say that, dang it, every time I give an example, they're, they're kind of coming in with like, oh, make sure you're talking to this crowd too. If you're one of those people, <laughs> oh gosh, if you guys don't know that I could be scandalous sometimes because I just kind of lay things down. Here it comes. Um, sometimes there are people out there who are like, that's right, I'm here and I'm supposed to be like a holy mother. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to tell this person how to live. Boy, enjoy your extra reincarnations, okay? Because you're not getting it, all right? Like, that's not how we do it, okay? Now, don't go forcing your opinion on someone else's life. Cool? All right. <laughs> I'm going to get myself in trouble. All right, so we have intimacy. I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, you can see it. I have my microphone here. I've been using this, but I've put it in a different position here. And it's in the way from where I would normally do this, so, okay. All right, intimacy. So this is about the sacral chakra. This is about creative life force. This is about your emotions, okay? How well can you connect to another person? I feel like this is something that might be cracking open for some of you this week where you're realizing where you have sort of not given yourself a chance to be expressive or a chance to release emotions or for some of you too watching this, uh, you are you pick up and absorb other people's energies. I would say that's a huge group of people that, you know, when I do the services for them, the readings for them, a lot of people pick up other people's energies. And that's part of what then starts kind of gunking up your energy field. And then now you're getting bogged down. I'm going through one of those moments too. And I'm going to make a whole other video. Uh, somebody sent me an email um, and it was about a video where someone was talking about uh, spiritual psychosis, using that as a term and asking what my opinion was. Um, now, I'm probably, I'm not going to like put that person's video in my video because I never know if people are comfortable being associated in one of my videos. It's kind of a touchy area, so I want to be respectful. But I do, I thought that was so great that someone covered that and they have a really beautiful take on it. The person who left that uh, left that email for me, if you want to leave it in the comments, you can't leave a link, but you can maybe mention it, okay? Um, I just want to be careful here and again, respectful. But I think that is an excellent conversation to have. You know, I've been talking years and years and years about uh, spiritual uh, bypassing, spiritual sidestepping. Uh, you guys, if you followed me for any length of time, especially back in 2013, I <laughs> became one of the, maybe not most hated, but I did not fit in with the angelic reader crowd. Number one, I was one of the few that were up. I mean, it was like a niche within a niche. Uh, and then it became more popular and people, well, they were tarot readers, but there weren't that many angel mediums like real angel mediums not just angel card readers but angel mediums and then to that end there was such a precedent set set that nobody could have real talk around it and the more and more I would do real talk um saying hey be cautious about these concepts you know don't go into the spiritual bypassing don't get into denial don't get into delusion right the more and more I spoke about that the more I got backlash on that, y'all. I mean, I was, whew, oh, the hate I was getting for that because people don't want to be awakened. And I always said, it, I kind of likened it to you're in a sound sleep and someone walks in and puts a giant floodlight in your face. I mean, you're going to be really agitated. So I understood. I'm no one's punching bag. Okay. So, you know, I was set boundaries with people, but, uh, you know, it's that kind of thing. And then that gets people, especially now, it's very, very trendy with the spirituality 
stuff and I mentioned in a video before how people are even going so far as to tattoo things on them. Um, we'll talk about this as well. I remember just real quick, I, I saw somebody who had Metatron's cube tattooed on them and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's Metatron's cube. And they're like, yeah, Metatron's cube is like, it's like sacred. <laughs> and I said, I, I know, I know I, I work with that quite a bit, but why was it meaningful for you to ink it into your skin? I was just curious. I mean, it was really none of my business and they could have said that if they wanted to. But this person genuinely did not know what, what Metatron's cube was, which is fine. If you don't know what it is, fine. But why, why is it on your body permanently taking it to the grave with you one day? What, huh? You sat, you sat for a session to, to get that on there and you don't know what it is? For what? Okay. And again, some of you who are tattooing, you got to be careful with the tattoos. Oh, I love you guys. I love you. Okay, I love you. I know. I know. You know exactly who I'm talking about right now. Some of you <laughs> really got a lot of ink. You got to be careful with the symbolism and what you're putting on your body. Okay. Um, and at the same time, you can't just put like an angel number or what you perceive as an angel number that became super trendy and it sort of watered down the meaningfulness of it. I got so much to say about this. I'll, I'll just touch on a little bit more here and then put it in a separate video. But um, just because you have that on you, it doesn't mean that you're automatically protected. There are a lot of horrible people who wear crosses <laughs> while they're doing horrible things to people. Like that doesn't necessarily mean that someone's a good person. Again, I'm going more for this audience, going more the um, protection route. The reason why I'm saying that is like, don't take that for granted. Oh, I got four for four tattooed on my forearm. So therefore I'm always protected by angels. Not so. There's a whole thing about how that's used. Okay. Again, maybe that's a long discussion. I haven't gotten to the cards yet. I am so sorry. I'm sorry if this is super boring. <laughs> if you've hung in there with me, thank you. I'll, I'll, I was going to record that other video later, but I'll do it right after this one. Let's get some cards. But we'll get into all of that. If you want to check out that other video, I'll have it up around the same time as this. So we had intimacy. I'm sorry because I took so long. You probably forgot what the heck we were even doing here. The Beloved. You guys are healing relationship dynamics. And this, I'm not talking necessarily to, well, maybe to people who are in relationships. A lot of people do get into uh, relationships because that's just what you're supposed to do. Or people get into relationships because they're afraid of being alone. This is a true love and this has been coming up quite a bit. So we're learning how to have a healthy connection with each other. So I'm, I'm curious to see what the, uh, that means. Decision. This is a powerful card. Every time this comes out, first of all, this always reminds me of like a full moon. Full moon is cleansing. It's time to release things. Um, it can be illuminating. It's about the intuition. It's all these things, right? Um, what's kind of hidden under the darkness of night? It's so dramatic, I know. But this decision card it comes with a little bit of a tear. You see that teardrop coming down from that? So something is exposed, revealed. You figure it out for yourself, whatever the case may be. And now you have to make a decision on maybe it's okay. Hello, we're recording here. What do you think this is? Just taking your motorcycle everywhere. I bet he has ink on him. Okay. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address that in the next video. Um, but you have to make the decision to be real with yourself, to not just tell yourself lies. Because, you know, when we get into this space of, I can't look at that. Some of you, maybe the economy has been really tough. So some of you may have been late on your bills or maybe you've gotten into debt. Listen, take it easy on yourself. If you've got some financial nerd, I'm talking to you out there, the financial nerds who are like, oh my God, you shouldn't have a car payment. Um, great. Why, why don't you take my money and make more money out of it so I can be rich? It's out of touch. And they got people who are saying that kind of stuff. Good on you if you don't have debt. <laughs> Excellent. Congratulations. Good on you if you've owned your house and you don't have a mortgage payment. Good on you. But that's not most people. Okay. So be sensitive. Be sensitive. Now, this next card, I just hit something. Um, the next card 
is sacred sexuality. I can't hold it up. I used to hold it up, but now I'm nervous. I'm nervous these days. It's a little saucy, okay? <laughs> so I got the back of it because that's all you get, okay? This is not, a, no, it's not that kind of channel. Anyway, sacred sexuality, again, is the sacral chakra. So there's a lot of hidden emotions, uh, things about your self-worth, your values, um, and sacral chakra sacrifice. Yes, all those horrible things you're hearing about, all those little things that people do to harm others. It's part of that. It's taking someone's uh, creative life force. So... Peaks of joy, the number's 33. That is, there you go, there's repeating numbers. That's an ascension number right there. This is about ascended wisdom. So peaks of joy, there's something very freeing. So if this is something where you've had an awful experience, again, please, please reach out and get support for your psychological and physical self, okay? Spiritual readings are not a replacement for that. And also, if you're afraid that you can't afford therapy, check with your county, that you live in if you're in the United States. There are lots of places that have services that can help you out. And don't worry about the payment part of it. Usually there's a way to help you through that as well. Now in other countries, again, check your local resources, see what is available to you, okay? Now, I think that this is some very deep emotional healing, maybe sexual healing, this could also be people coming together because this is wild. We have peaks of joy, um, intimacy, the beloved, sacred sexuality. Those are all like relationship related things. And then there's that decision card in there. So even if you're sitting there going, shoot, I've been married 50 years, 50 plus years. Um, this doesn't pertain to me. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. When you have these general readings like this, there is something there. So this could be something, especially if you have been married for 50 years. I mean, I, you know, you'd have to be, I don't, I don't know what age you would have gotten married at, but you were probably raised in a very different generation than people are being raised in now. There were probably things that were quite allowable that would not have gotten anybody in trouble for doing that, that were, that we were accepted as crazy it might be, as it might be, it was accepted. It's very different now. So there's something here that is being healed within you. And yet, this is unfortunate, but some of you are going to have to make a decision about what kind of energetic exchange, this is how they're saying it, what kind of energetic exchange do you want to be a part of? Do you want to be a part of a controlling um, manipulative Machiavellian kind of situation where you don't feel like you're in charge of your own life or do you want a deep connection? See, a lot of people, we've all been trained to go for the sting, right? The, the stingy feeling. People are like, oh, it's butterflies. That means it's real love. No, it's anxiety. And from a spiritual standpoint, it is your energetic self, your soul self, your higher self, if, however you want to see this, going, yo, no, no. <laughs> or unless it's on your soul's contract to take that path and, you know, learn and grow through that, then, you know, you'll go into that. But don't get tricked. Don't get tricked here. For yet some of you, because we were talking about the job thing, this could be the creativity coming back for you or getting a creative solution about how you want to approach your career. <sighs> there's a seriousness. I was going to say there's a heaviness. It's not heavy. That's not actually the thing. It's not a heaviness. There's a seriousness about this week where it's like, it's, I've, I've got to figure out what I'm doing. I've got to figure out you know, what I'm putting my energy into and is it worth it anymore? Or if you've been single for a very long time, you're healing what makes you afraid to open up to another human being and not promising the world here. But I really feel like there's this opening, like there's this heart opening kind of experience. Again, just be careful. 
I don't want you to be suspicious of everybody, but everything in balance. Yeah. All right. So just be careful this week. Leave your comments down below. Again, if you did want to, and I should have said this at the top of the reading, um, I wanted to give a week here in the United States, we have Memorial Day coming up and I wanted to give a week of little flash sales. So if you're not familiar with that, um, I started this when I figured out how to do a discount code in Squarespace. <laughs> I didn't know how to do it. That's why I never offered it. And then I figured it out. And it's so easy. And it was fun because people would get so excited and be like, oh my gosh, you know. Um, and I think it is here and there helpful if you do want to get a reading. Again, I know times are tough. So here and there, I usually give them about two hours. So you'll want to be watching the community tab on my YouTube channel because it'll, you know, I'll, I'll just pop something up real quick and say, from this time to this time, use this code, you get this amount off. Okay. Uh, no price adjustments. I'm just trying to figure out what I need to say about this. No price adjustments after. I've had people do that where they're not respecting what parameters I put in place. I say it's up until this time. They put in a reading request outside of that time limit and say, I just put it through. So if you can just uh, give me my money back, that's so presumptive. And ew. probably you would just get a refund and I won't read for you. Be respectful. Okay, now if you made an honest mistake, that's different. Okay, like, I, I'm not a cruel person, I promise. I'll work with you, that's okay. But some people are just kind of pompous and think that everyone's just going to adjust to them or whatever. Anyway, let me know your questions down below. Let me know what you're curious about, especially if you are new here and you want to know what it is to work with angelic guidance without let, letting the ego get involved, which is what, it's pretty much all I see out there anymore. And it's sad because the angels and archangels are here to help us, but we're not tuning in in the right way. And um, that's probably a whole other video as well. But people are stopping at the ego level and they're actually not bringing in the angelic guidance. So they're missing it. They're missing the point. Again, I, I can help you with that. Leave your comments down below. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Thanks for hanging in there with me throughout this whole long video. I love you all so much and take care.